Hello and welcome to this new tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install and configure an FTP server on Windows Server 2019. So FTP is uh, also known as a file transfer protocol. It's a set of rules that define how files can be shared and manipulated over a TCP IP network. And in this uh, video, I'm going to show you how to install the FTP server on this uh, virtual machine, which is a Windows Server 2019 machine. The first thing we need to do is start the server manager, which can be found uh, in the start menu on uh, Windows Server 2019, uh, right here. I have it already open, so I'm going to uh, open it, then click on add roles and features link on this first page just click next on the next page select role based or feature based installation as the installation type then click next on the following page select uh, the server which uh, FTP server will be installed on then click next on the select roles to install as you can see here I have already a uh, web server IS installed and if I click on this I have Android FTP server expand the FTP uh, server option then select FTP service and then click next on the features page click next on the confirmation page uh, review what you have selected to install then click install we are going to install the FTP uh, service the installation is going to take probably a couple of minutes uh, depending on your virtual machine resources when the installation finishes you will see this message uh, installation succeeded click close to close the installation wizard if you are a fan of PowerShell, you can also install uh, FTP service using this PowerShell command. So install Windows feature Web FTP server and include management tools. Make sure you have opened uh, PowerShell as uh, administrator and hit enter. It is already installed, but just I wanted to show you uh, the command. So, as you can see, uh, the command executed successfully and there is no need to restart. Now, let's configure uh, FTP in passive mode. So, first of all, what is passive mode? And if there is a passive mode, does it mean that there is a, an active mode? So, yes, FTP works in passive and active modes. In active mode, the client establishes the command uh, channel, but the server is responsible for establishing the data channel. But in passive mode, so here being passive is the server, the client does everything. The client establishes both channels, then requests the server to start listening on a port. So in passive mode, the client has uh, more work to do but in active mode uh, the server acts more proactively so let's see how to configure uh, this server to work in passive mode so in the server manager under tools go to internet information uh, services manager once it is open uh, click on uh, your server 
which is this one and then expand it select FTP firewall support and click on open feature here on the right then input the port range for passive mode in this pop-up and then click apply for example we can use a uh, port range of 40,000 to 41,000 click apply here on the right then uh, click OK it says here please configure your firewall to allow FTP access for both the control channel and the data channel port range click OK now let's restart the uh, FTP server so if you open the services up so run it as an administrator then look for Microsoft FTP service which is this one right click on it and then choose to restart so it looks like it has already been restarted now let's add the port range 40,000 to 41,000 in the uh, firewall so let's go to the firewall uh, with advanced security under inbound rules let's create a new rule which is going to be uh, of type port TCP and the specified ports are 40,000 to 41,000 click next allow the connection and then call it FTP port range let's call this FTP service port range then click finish and you have here the rule enabled you can also uh, restart the FTP service if you want I'm not sure if it is necessary after adding the rule but you can do it no problem and with this we have successfully installed and configured FTP server in uh, Windows Server 2019 I hope this video has been helpful for you and thank you for watching